When a lot of people think mesh Wi-Fi, they also think of expensive, but MeshForce plans to fix that with this guy right here, the M3 kit. Stay tuned to learn more. What's going on guys, it's Quizzy Dog here and like I mentioned before, today we're gonna to be doing a very quick first impressions and unboxing of this mesh Wi-Fi kit sent over from a company called MeshForce. Now, when a lot of people think about mesh Wi-Fi, other than the advancements or the benefits of mesh Wi-Fi, mainly being one simultaneous SSID or network name across your whole house, they also think expensive because those two really go hand in hand. And for the average user, and I'm not talking about those at home that have gigabit five connections or gamers or anything like that, although this well worked for that too, but the average consumer really just wants reliable Wi-Fi across a couple thousand square feet, and they may not want to invest hundreds of dollars in a Wi-Fi solution. MeshForce actually aims to fix that issue by providing their M3 kit. Again, that's what we have right here. And believe it or not, after coupon codes, which I will have linked in the video description, you can get this guy for very close to $100 US. I think we're floating around the 120 to 130 mark. Keep an eye, the link will be in the description for up-to-date pricing and availability, of course. But this is a very unique system. So when it was offered to me, I definitely jumped on it. Now, this M3 kit does include the regular or kind of main M3 node, but then it actually has two of the M3 dots as well. And with those two dots included, this aims to supply one SSID across up to 4,000 square feet. And looks wise, and we're gonna get into the box here in a second, I think a lot of people will appreciate the design that MeshForce went with. We've looked at TP-Link solutions, we've looked at Linksys solutions on this channel before, and my main concern or main gripe is typically that your nodes or your towers or your access points are all big and bulky and they just don't fit in a lot of rooms. So without further ado, let's jump right into the package here. We're gonna open this up and first thing as always we're greeted with is just going to be your little installation guide that you guys can see here. It is quite long, but it's photo based for the most part, which is actually kind of cool. That looks very, very easy to follow, which I can super appreciate. You also have a one, two, three step registration process, and they don't really waste any time getting you in to see exactly what they have to offer. And right away, this is the very first time I'm opening this. I am floored at how small and how like scary light this actually feels. So if we peel this off, we're going to first see the M3 node. And this is kind of like your main access point. This is going to be what's plugged in to your main ISP provided modem to provide you the start of your mesh system. So here it is here, very plain Jane, but pretty cool too. You actually have some mounting points on the bottom should you wanna actually mount this up on a wall and out of the way. And then on the back, we do have your power. We have one WAN, which is your internet in, and then one LAN, which is going to be your internet out. Um, some people may be disappointed about this, for me, I was going to see whether or not this would facilitate Wi-Fi within my home because I really like the idea of this mesh network, but this is going to be the downfall. I know I can run a switch, but I, I have typically my routers right over there, as you guys can see now, and I just don't want something else cluttering up the desk, but uh, other than that, not too bad. Uh, there is a QR code on the bottom here as well to help you set that guy up and like, this weighs about as much as maybe a tennis ball. Like that's kind of scary. But this is what I was really excited for. And this is the M3 dot. So the cool thing with the M3 dot, and oddly enough, that's a really weird design. Uh, I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. But the M3 dot is this big. 
This allows you to supplement your network through mesh needs all around your house, up to 4,000 square feet when you take a look at this three-piece kit, but this is not a big bulky tower. This is just one little plug that you end up putting in your power outlet, so you can put it in a hallway, you can put it in a kitchen, and you don't have cables cluttering your whole countertop or across your floor or up your wall. And that's one of my main gripes with a lot of modern day mesh networks is because they're so expansive and they offer so many feature sets and different things like that is they're big and they're bulky and they're kind of a hassle. So I like the fact that this right here is just one little tiny node. And what I thought was kind of funny is, of course it goes this way because you guys can see the logo. By the way, you do have a LAN port on the bottom and then your sticker on the top that will tell you all about how to connect to it. But I think it's funny how you have to flip it upside down to read the sticker. I don't know why they didn't just, you know, make it so you can spin it around, but I mean, that's just me being picky. It's really nothing that's gonna hinder any abilities. And again, of course, being a three-piece set, you do have another M3 dot right here. Other than that, the rest of the goodies in here are uh, an ethernet cable. So this is probably, I would say cat 5e or cat 6 maybe. Um, but I like these flat cables that manufacturers are including in the box. Those are pretty cool. And you have a little itty bitty power brick as well. And that's to power this guy right here. So your little proprietary pin goes right in the back. Bing, bang, boom, and away you go. And that's all that's in there. So when it comes to the M3, the M3 is capable of uh, dual channel 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz Wi-Fi. You have the ability to have a guest mode on here as well. It does allow you remote management access through their own proprietary or in-house built application as well, where you can set parental controls, your guest network, you can see what's connected, you can ban uh, Mac IDs if you want to, if by chance there's people that are on the network that you don't want on, or you can schedule or set up parental controls so you can kick certain IDs or certain Mac addresses off at certain times of the day or limit what they have the ability to do. Again, referring to the package here, the um, one guy here, this would be just the main M3 and one dot is said to cover about 3000 square feet or up to four plus rooms. The two dot system would be 4000 square feet and then every dot that you buy above and beyond that, which you can buy these completely separately as add-ons, uh, will add about another thousand square feet or so. Now the network interface on the bottom, I do believe, and I will double check this and annotate it if I'm incorrect, but I think the LAN access is only up to 300 megabits per second. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'll probably fix this in post if by chance I am incorrect, but I think that's what I was reading on the manufacturer's site. Um, the requirements for the application are, uh, it's the My Mesh uh, application. It's on both the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store. Just requires iOS 9 or Android 4.4. And both of those OSs are going back you know, quite a few generations. So it's nice to see that you don't need a modern device to keep up with this. And where I can see this being used the most are again, for maybe people who are not necessarily network hungry, um, maybe your older parents at home, for your grandparents, for somebody that's not necessarily tech savvy, somebody that wants a, a very affordable network without the hassle of buying third-party repeaters for their modem and then having different SSIDs to connect to and having handoffs issues. That's really the benefit of, of mesh Wi-Fi is you really just go all around the house and it just, it blankets the whole thing with Wi-Fi with one, one source, one SSID. We're gonna take a quick look in the guide here because I think this might supplement some of the information that I need. Uh, so step one, they have video guides. Step two, download the app. Step three, connect the hardware. Uh, step four, connect to the default Wi-Fi, which is what you have on the sticker here on the bottom. That would be your default connection. Uh, five is set up the app and create your own network name if you show, so desire. Um, 
setting up the mesh nodes is just as easy as plugging them in. Again, connecting to the node and connecting it to everything. Uh, diagnostic and reset. So you do have a reset pin right on the back of here as well. Should anything happen, that is your master reset or should you grow out of these and you need to factory reset them to find them another home, you can do that as well. Uh, maximize internet performance. So after multiple conversions and transmissions, the network signal can finally arrive at your device. In this process, there are some factors that may affect your internet performance. Uh, so it's just saying keep the nodes away from microwaves and fridges and major appliances. That's all generic internet-based stuff. Um, I'm going to flash up a couple of things from their uh, manufacturer's website with a little bit more information about this kit. I would love to immediately test this for you guys. Unfortunately, with um, a lot of people supplementing their internet access more so now during quarantine than ever before, my wife working currently like right now and almost every day from the home internet connection. It's not something that I can really dismantle, disconnect everything and try out, but I did want to put this video together for you guys because I've been sitting on these for a little while. I've been really, really curious about what they look like and it's something that I thought I wanted to share on camera. Build quality, overall appearance, aesthetics, everything like that. Everything seems great. Um, I will link the manufacturer website down in the video description as well. Everything looks very, very top notch, very uh, clean, very refined. And from what I've seen with the Amazon reviews uh, that I've had the opportunity to read, everything looks absolutely fantastic. Again, I don't think something like this with its budget limitations being uh, limited access points on the back and maybe limited network speed from your nodes and different things like that. Maybe it's not for everyone. Maybe it's not for those tech heads. There will still be people that will go out and get more high-end systems, but your average internet user, your average consumer, those who have just regular electronics within their home that want the peace of mind of roaming, again, with the M3 with the dual dot kit up to 4,000 square feet with limited um, dead zones within their home. I think this is gonna be fantastic. And again, at that price point, MSRP I think is like 160. You're always gonna find coupon codes here and there. Coupon code for this will be linked in the video description below as well. Um, getting this very close to like $120 US is really unheard of in this space. So uh, with back to school coming up, if you're a student yourself, or if you've got people rooming with you, or you're going into a new apartment and really you just need to extend basic internet for basic needs, take a look at the uh, Mesh Force M3 system. I honestly think based on everything I've read and everything I've seen, um, it's gonna fit your needs perfectly fine. So we will be testing this in a future content piece, don't worry, but for now, these are just my first impressions of the hardware itself. Uh, if you found this video at all helpful or uh, enticing, or if this is the first time you've ever heard of Mesh Force and you're unsure whether or not uh, you want to jump into this, have a conversation with me in the video comments below. I would love to chat with you guys, as I always do on all of my content pieces. And until my next video, my name is Queasy Dog. You guys have been awesome, and we'll catch you all in my next video. Take care.